Hey guys, welcome back to Simplify Mechanic. My name is Thomas. In today's video, today's video we're going to be doing a little tool review. And the lucky tool we got today is the Odelphi Strip Lamp Pro. It's an LED headlamp. But we're going to open it up, look at it, see if we like it. If we do like it, I'll get us a discount code and all that and put it in the description so we can buy it and get a little discount. So if you're interested in checking this out, stay tuned because we're starting. <laughs> All right, guys, let's jump right into it. Here it is, Odelphi, or also heard it pronounced Odelphi, Strip Lamp Pro LED Headlamp. It tells us what's going on. Got wave induction, impact resistant. Looks like it's waterproof. And by looking at the actual times and having uh, used a lot of these headlamps, these are actually pretty good times. What I mean by that is they're not lying. They're not saying 24 hours or 48 hours or something stupid. Right here it tells you it's got the durable and stretchable headband. Luminate up to 230 degrees, 350 lumens. All right, let's open this bad boy up here. Now I did not buy this. The Delphi company reached out to me and asked if I would do a review. And I told him, I said, when I do my reviews, just because you send me the tool doesn't mean I'm just going to say you're, you know, it's good to go. You know, I give truthful reviews. I'm not going to just say every tool's great because it's not. But the first thing in here is, is Odelphi, thank you. Now, anybody that buys these, this is the exact box you'll get. It is discount code TY835 for 15% off. It's pretty good. Nice little bag. Comes with a charger. The USB, and this is the Type C. Got the charging port right here, it looks like. Yeah, for the USB C. So we got the light on the side here, and then it has the LED strip. All right, before we figure out any of these buttons, I just want to see how it fits on me. It's very stretchy right here. If it's too small or too big, you can just pull on this little thing right here, the bottom one. It looks like it'll loosen or tighten it up. So it goes on this way. I'm gonna put it over my hat, because I wear my hat a lot when I'm working. Yeah, there we go. Look at that, bud. I like how it is sleek. I got the mother headlamps, but you know, and they're on the front, and they they stick out real far. So when you're working on something, I mean, it gets real close. Tighten it up a little bit. But boy, that thing looks pretty slick, huh? At least it looks cool. I'll give you that. All right, let's figure out what all this stuff does. We might have to take it inside because we're outside here. Would you guys to be able to see because there's two lights. You got one here and then one there. Here on the side, that's the power button. This right here is the wave induction. Instead of turning it on by pushing the button and turning it on, wave induction means you just wave your hand by it. So you could be working with your gloves on, and you know, it sucks when you're reaching for this uh, little button here. Induction on, you can just be like, whoo, when it turns on, on and off. So let's go inside, try to get it all figured out. Let's go inside here. Watch out for the animals, might be going everywhere but I got the curtains pulled. Fairly reasonably dark in here. Yeah, picture, I mean high school, minimum mama. Also, if you didn't know, your boy just got inducted into these high school hall of fame, August 26th. So if you live in Ohio, August 26th, about 6.30, go to Wellston, Ohio, Wellston football field. You can watch me get inducted into the hall of fame. Cause I wasn't always a fat shit. I was pretty cool at one point. All right, guys, I'm sorry that it's kind of dark in here, but I do want to show you how the light actually works. I have a huge head. You'll not meet another person with a head this big. I mean, my shit is 30 inches around. It's bigger than your leg. If it's fitting my head like this, hell, man, it would fit the elephant man. <laughs> it would fit his head. So, but it goes real small, too. But anyway, we got two lights. Like I said, we got the strip light here, and then we got this light. On the side right here is the power button, right? So if we hit it once turns on the strip what's right on you guys i know this room was super dark all right so look power button push it once gets this one really bright push it again gets them push it again switches to this one bright push it again makes it dim and then you turn it off when we turn it on we're gonna push this right here see that looks like a little wi-fi symbol right there that's gonna make it where it's hands free so then we'll be able to swipe it on and off and you can do either one that you want so let's see let's turn it on let's put it on low so you guys can see it a little bit all right and then let's push our little wi-fi button and you'll see that this stuff changed color right see it's on now you're working you want to turn it it's on you're working you want to turn it off just do that. 
See? Turn it back on. Bam. Need to turn it back off. Bam. Right? But I can tell it's turning on and off a little bit when I move my head a certain way. So that's something they might want to look into. If this is their number one selling feature, it's something they might want to get fixed because I can tell it's turning on and off without me moving my hand. It's just going by my head. So it must be picking up these objects. Well, that'll be a problem when you're working. And then you can move it to this light, right? And then put the wave back on. Maybe it'll do better, okay? Here I am working, I need my light on. Bam, it's on. All right, need to shut it off, bam. Yeah, see how it turns on? Watch. As soon as I turn my head, bam. You know, because you're gonna be moving your head a lot and it's gonna be kicking on and off. Like I said, I'm here for a truthful review. So I'm not gonna just lie to you guys about this. Also know that if you hold down the power button for so long that you can turn it into a strobe where it goes on and off. All right guys, you just seen it work inside. Overall rating one out of 10, what would we give this? We're talking about just the headlamp and light. It's very good. I would give it a seven out of 10, right? Now of this right here, the induction where it goes on and off, uh, if that worked like it was supposed to, this would be a 10 out of 10 and probably the best headlamp that I've ever tested. But uh, there's big problems with this induction. I could tell because as you've seen, I was just turning my head and it was turning on and off. We don't need that. We need it to just turn on and off when we move our hand. Because if we're under there working, you know, you're gonna be reaching for tools and it's just gonna keep going on and off, on and off, if you're using that part. But you can still buy this and just not use that, you know? If you're buying this, buy it just for the light, you know, because it's worth it for that. Like I said, I told the company I'll be very truthful. My community trusts me. If I say something is good, then you guys will buy it. You trust me. I'm not just gonna say, oh, it's perfect, buy it, because then you're not gonna trust me. As you can see, it's too sensitive is what it is. They need to make it less sensitive where it can only reach out to maybe two inches because it's reading so far away that it's picking objects up as you turn your head. So if they can turn down the sensitivity, it would be great. The only reason you're gonna buy this is for the induction, the motion sensor type thing, then I would not, I would not buy it. But for the lights, it's a pretty good buy. Especially, I'll put my discount code in the link down in the description, and then you click on the link, go in there, and when you check out, make sure you put my code, and it'll save you a bunch of money. But here on Simplify Mechanic, man, we just, we're, we're truthful. But this is an honest review, and I still give it a seven out of 10. So far, it is still my highest rated light that I've ever tested. All right, guys, that's it for a tool review. We do them once every couple weeks or once a month, something like that. We do have another light we got to do a review on, but it is not a headlamp one, so we'll do that next week. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. We're at 2,800, man. We're only 200 away from 3,000, and that's a major goal for us. So if you watch this video or any of my videos, please subscribe. If you'd like to support the channel, I'll have my Cash App and Venmo up here. We don't need anything. You do not need to send us money. But if you would like to and you like to support the channel, you have an option to. But if not, I still love you. And like I always say, simplify until next time.